Good morning, everyone. We made it. Here we are, Icon Collective. Shortly, we are gonna head in and we are actually getting a tour by one of the staff. I don't even know what to say. It's incredible that we are even here and that this opportunity has presented itself to us. Never thought that with COVID and everything, I would ever be able to come to this school as a student. Feeling a bit camera shy, to be honest. I usually vlog inside my little 4x4 studio. So to be out in the public, vlogging at Icon, we're gonna have to get over it, aren't we? We're starting the day off strong. We got a studio session coming up at 11, and then in the afternoon, we're actually meeting up with the vocalist, having a coffee, and then doing another studio session. Getting things off on the right foot. Let's head over. Here we are, Studio 145 for our very first studio session. This is overwhelming, surreal, I can't even believe it. There's literally about 20 different studios. Like, look at this place. Look at this place. Fully treated, it's soundproof. There's a bit of a weird echo in this one in particular, but this is our first studio room. We'll definitely find one that we like the most. But yeah, we got a scan in over here. They got these barcodes and we start our first studio session at Icon. All right, here we are after our first studio session. Feeling pretty good, didn't really get a lot done. Getting used to another studio is quite interesting in itself. As far as the vlog goes, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing for segments or whatever. The possibilities are endless. We got three or four different classes, including mixing and mastering. So probably do a class recap at the end of the day, but we only have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And other than that, we're just booking studios, making the most of our time here at Icon. And yeah, aside from studio sessions, this is like an open lounge area so people can come by here. So there's gonna be lots of noise, lots of traffic. The vibe at the school is unbelievable. I said to one of the other people in my class that like, this is the only time that this is gonna be new to us. You know, the feelings of excitement and just nervousness of being actually at Icon. It's kind of the butterflies and getting over that and just getting into the groove of things. Into the groove. <laughs> so yeah, gonna go eat lunch. Looking forward to the rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon. All right, we just finished a two hour studio session with Brittany Egbert and honestly, my first session recording a vocalist, working in studio with a vocalist, and it could not have gone better. Totally forgot to film anything for the vlog, so I'm gonna throw in my Instagram footage right now. Just like lightning illuminates the details of the world around us. I mean, what a voice, right? Loving the direction of this song, and I'm just so happy that I made this connection. First day at Icon, two different studio sessions. I'm feeling really, really good. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna edit these vlogs, what segments I'm gonna put in them. I'm honestly just going with the flow right now, but I'll definitely be editing this footage and getting something put up. Yeah, right now we're just sitting straight outside the school. It's over there. We've had an amazing first day and it's not over. We're gonna go get something to eat for dinner, book another studio session, and see what happens. Here we go, Icon Collective, day two. We are just heading down to our studio. We got a studio from nine to 11. Bliss Lounge, my favorite place. Let's go. So check this out. I wanted to show you this morning how this all works. So we set up our laptop and we use Universal Audio. Apollo USB audio interface. Then we come over here to this little scan, put our phone in, press the little thing, scroll down to the bottom, hit check in, press go, and boom, we are checked in to this studio. Right now we're working on our Britney Spears cover remix that we're doing with M the Myth. And this vocal, I'm telling you, is so, so, so unique. 
I'm loving the direction of this track so far. So we've got a double hour book for this studio from 9 to 11. Then we go on our lunch break and we have our very first class. And this is Mastering Theory. Right after Mastering Theory is done, we go into Advanced Mixing. A lot going on today. And I'm super, super excited to recap what we learned. Not only do we have all that, but we also have our mentor session at 7 p.m. tonight. And I have no idea who my mentor is. So that'll be a nice surprise when I walk into the room later on. I don't know, but I think that this might be a more traditional vlog. I'm not sure about vlog segments, not sure about any of that, but we're just gonna document this time to the best of our abilities and give you insight to what I'm doing here, let you see Icon, and just share this experience with each other. We're starting the day off strong once again. We're in the studio first thing in the morning. We'll talk to you soon. Good evening, and here we are, another studio studio, another studio. I mean, just look at how this is framed. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. How the heck was our first day of classes? Big recap coming at you. So our first class today was Mastering Theory, and it was a lot of information. We are going into this amazing mastering studio. It's actually in one of the first clips when I walked into Icon for the first time. That's what we're going to be using. We're going to be learning how to use outboard gear, hardware, as well as in the box gear. I did ask on break, you know, could we essentially consider ourselves mastering engineers after this course? He said no, but this course sets you on that path if mastering and earning income from that is a direction that you want to go. So really what this was is an overview of the entire course, what's expected of us, what we're gonna be doing. And from a technical standpoint, it is a lot. And I am actually so excited to learn this stuff. I've learned a basic mastering chain, slap it on, I can get my track to a good amount of loudness for release. But actually one of the first things that the instructor really wanted to hit home was stop using a master chain and instead know what tools are used for the job. And so he told us to think about it in these four different categories, correction, control, enhancement, and finalization. So rather than thinking about it from a master chain, which same effects do I have on here? We think about it from a broader perspective and which plugins in those four categories are gonna best suit the job for whatever genre we happen to be mastering. So I already love the direction that the mastering theory class is headed. Next class we had advanced mixing. Essentially, we kind of spent the whole class, like we did go over the lesson stuff, but a lot of it was just throwing questions at the instructor with regards to mixing, what plugins to use, how to mix. We went over some really interesting stuff about learning how to clip your tracks in an effective way that makes it not distorted, but adds some like super, super crazy power. It's a little bit beyond anything I've experimented with coming from a more melodic standpoint rather than drum and bass or dubstep. But nonetheless, like, knowing how to do that and understanding from a mixing perspective of how to achieve stuff like that for other clients or just to help other people seems super valuable. So what did we get for homework? Well, for mastering class, we need to just master a track. So using our laptop in the box, what is our mastering skill level at now? And then for advanced mixing, well, can you guess it? We have about six tracks or so we need to choose from. We download the stems and we have to mix them. All right, it's not over. Stay with me. We need to recap our mentor session. My mentor session could not have gone better. A lot of the first mentor session is just getting to know each other, hearing about each other's experiences with music, where we're at, where we want to go, all that kind of good stuff. As you know, as I've hinted a billion times in this vlog, I have my secret project. My goal here is to finish the music that goes with this project while I'm here. I actually already started writing this music like a year and a half, two years ago, but I knew I was going to come to Icon, so I thought, let's put this on hold, let's get our skills up to the best they can be and now look at the opportunity I have and the place that I get to finish that music for that part of the project. The way that things are unfolding is 
literally mind-blowing. I am overwhelmed with gratitude and this experience that I'm having. So I shared with my mentor what my secret project is and the direction that I want to go with it. He's absolutely stoked. And so maybe over time, we'll start leaking a little bit to do with the project just for the people in this vlog. You can say that you were there when it started. So yeah, it's about 8.26 right now. Almost 30 minutes after a mentor session, we've got a double hour in this studio to see if we can get some work done. What a privilege it is to be able to go to a place like this and share my dream, share my passion with all these other people. All right, we've blabbed on for too long. We're gonna get to work. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 6th. Here we are just outside the entrance to Icon, chilling in this little front courtyard area. We're trying Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Kind of reminds me of Tim Hortons, to be honest. Coffee's super strong though, and tastes pretty good in my opinion. It's already like 19 degrees, and today it's supposed to get up to 34 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely insane, as it's around like 10 degrees Celsius in Victoria, where I'm from on the west coast of Canada right now. I'm feeling pretty good this morning. We've had a couple of just crazy days. Yesterday's classes were awesome, and today I'm really, really looking forward to getting into the mastering studio, and then after after that, we have our advanced vocal production classes with Carrie Leva, and I'm super, super stoked about that. We have that class, I think, for four hours today. So in total, we have class from 12 to six. I don't know if we're gonna do this every day, but so far the routine is book a studio session in the morning, and then book a studio sesh in the evening, and we kind of just bookend our days like that. Anyways, we got about six minutes before our studio session begins, so let's get to it. Good afternoon, it's about five after four and we just finished our very first advanced vocal production class. Right now I'm sitting in one of the classrooms. Take a look. The school has quite a few of these theaters. Really really good sound systems in these classrooms. It's actually just incredible. So let's do a recap for our very first vocal production class. In all honesty pretty straightforward. Essentially we're going over vocal comping. So when a vocalist is singing if they smack their lips together or they make some kind of weird noise like that. Those are the kinds of things we obviously need to take out. And so what the instructor went over was how to do that, how to navigate Pro Tools. I definitely need to see how the instructor navigates Pro Tools. I only used it for the little intro course they made us do. And honestly, it seems pretty similar to Ableton and we're allowed to use one or the other even though she encouraged us to use Pro Tools because apparently it's far superior as far as recording vocalists go. I'm fortunate in the sense that I've worked with quite a few vocalists and cleaning up vocals and doing this stuff I'm pretty familiar with. There's always room to improve. The instructor also went over the syllabus and towards the end, that's when we get into a lot of vocal comping. So we're gonna be in the studio recording a vocalist that the school's bringing in. And so yeah, that's gonna be where all of the theory stuff and everything that we're learning really comes into play. Personally, I'm super excited for that. As you know, I'm already recording a vocalist. So literally as I'm learning this information, I'll be able to apply it to what I'm doing in real life, which is just mind blowing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the recap. I'm gonna go get something to eat before I get into the studio this evening. Good morning, everyone. Everyone. It is Thursday, April 7th, and we just got out of a two hour studio session. If I'm totally honest, we didn't do a lot, but we did download the new Ozone 9 Advanced, and so we were playing with some new mastering plugins that were recommended to us by our mastering teacher. As you can see, we're back in the Bliss Lounge, probably one of my favorite places at Icon. I think I mentioned it, but we only have class Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it turns out that for our advanced vocal production class, we don't have a four hour class until the back half of this quarter. Yeah, so today is going to be all about starting our assignments. Every class we have an assignment. Tomorrow we have advanced sound design, which I'm really looking forward to because as you know, I didn't actually really start my sound design journey until I learned the foundation at Icon. Today what's on the agenda is obviously more studio time, but I'm gonna try to hit up a couple couple office hours. We got Vito's office hours and then Paul Lasky who was one of my very first mentors. So we actually get to hang with them and meet in person. I think I showed you all the preview of the toxic, the Britney Spears toxic 
remix cover that we're doing. It turns out that the person who sang this lives like an hour and a half away and they're flying out somewhere and they're gonna be in LA on Monday. So we're gonna bring them in the studio and actually work on the track in person. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm super pumped for the office hours. I'm gonna try to get in as many in-person office hours as I can while I'm here. And then after that, we got some more studio bookings. All right, talk to you later. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, April 8th. I can't believe it. First week is almost coming to an end. Yeah, I didn't really vlog much yesterday because I only did a couple office hours. Vito was just really like a hype hour. He's the student services coordinator, so it's his job to connect with us, motivate us, and push us, and that's exactly what he did in his office hour. It was super, super inspirational. Paul Lasky's office hours, he did this kind of beat challenge where basically you had like three minutes to create a bass line, two minutes to create some vocal chops, et cetera, et cetera, and then some of the people demoed what they did in front of the class. It was actually pretty cool because under those kinds of time constraints, what can you create? And I think I created something that was pretty decent. So right now we're just eating our breakfast having our coffee in the courtyard. I really like it out here. It's just before nine o'clock and yeah, we're just chilling. And then we're going into the mastering studio this morning. I'm really stoked, two hours in the mastering studio. I'm definitely gonna show you some footage from that. And then we have our last first class, which is the advanced sound design with the artist Lumberjack. Super excited to get into some more advanced stuff. We have that from 12 to two. And then of course, I'll do a recap about that afterwards. We've got a studio session in the afternoon. We're definitely gonna get started on some of this homework and I'll let you take a look at what that's all about later but tonight after my studio session it's pizza friday really excited to just mingle with everybody eat some pizza and chill out and then i'll probably do another studio session after that we'll see what happens So we had our last class today, which was advanced sound design. And we're doing that with the artist Lumberjack. The way that it was explained is the person who created this class is good buddies with one of the guys from Noisia. And so a lot of the theory and a lot of the tools that we're learning are straight from those legendary producers. It seems like this course will be quite bass music heavy, but honestly the concepts and learning something that's outside of my comfort zone is only gonna help me with my own production. So our first assignment from this was to create a complex sound and I decided I would choose a pretty crazy acid sound that I found in the new Grum track. Now, I'm not gonna play a sample of that because I'll definitely get copyrighted, but let's check out the sound that I designed. <laughs> So if you go on SoundCloud, look up Grum's track, Disconnected, you'll hear in the drop, this is the acid sound that I tried to recreate. What's really challenging about this is I'm creating a very specific sound within an entire track. And what's difficult about that is this acid sound is taking up a lot of the higher frequencies. When you have the bass line and the kick drum and percussion, all that playing at the same time, you get, you know, a complete idea. So I don't know how close this actually is, but we'll see what the instructor has to say. Pretty good day. We've officially gone through all of our classes and I'm just waiting 
for Pizza Friday to start. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, April 9th, and we are back in the mastering studio, as you can see. And yeah, there's a lot to learn for this. And I think it was suggested we get about four hours a week in here. This week's homework was we needed to just master a song, not necessarily in here. I tried to master a song in here yesterday and it did not sound good. Utilizing hardware as opposed to software is just such a different feel. And quite literally, that's what it is. You're actually feeling it out. It's not as precise and you're actually listening for the changes that you're making. That visual help that a plugin provides in your DAW is kind of a crutch, low key. So this is all about ear training, all about understanding what makes a good master. And so we're in here for an hour this morning, getting our practice in, getting familiar with the gear. And then later on we have another studio session because we're working on the homework for this week. We've already handed in the sound design homework and we're almost done the EDM mixing homework. So that means we have the advanced vocal production homework as well as the mastering homework. What I might do for the mastering is I just mastered all eight of my What If bootleg EP tracks before I came. So I might hand in one of those, then I might try to master a song in one of the studios here. Today's Saturday, so it's gonna be a little bit more chill of a day. Icon's only open from 10 to five. And yeah, I can't believe that the first week's already coming to an end, but we got a ton of work that we wanna do while we're here. So we're gonna get on it. Oh,